You just scored the game-winning goal in the state final. How does that feel? Um, it's incredible. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen down there. It was getting bounced around a lot, and then all of a sudden we put it in, and it didn't even hit me yet that we've won. Okay. Uh, a lot was going on there. I saw a lot of kick saves, but you guys just kept jabbing and jabbing and jabbing. What do you remember about the play, if anything at all? Do you remember all the kick saves and just kind of sticking with it? Yeah, there was like a bunch. The goalie had a lot of nice saves, and we kept hitting it back and forth. The goalie kept kicking it, but we didn't give up, and we put the ball in the back of the cage to win the game. Was this uh, was this excruciating to play in? I mean, it's one one forever, and it's overtime, and you guys know each other. I mean, how hard was this to play in this game today? Yeah, it was pretty tough. Like, we obviously knew when it was one zero that they would come back, so we had to keep up, and we're, we're the closest friends with them of any other team. But it's great that we came out with a victory. Uh, they got one corner after another corner after another corner. Um, What's it like watching them get that many cracks at it and then tip your cap to your goalie for just not letting any of those in, seriously? Seriously, like, I give all the credit to Kayla. She's in the back of the cage saving all the goals, and, like, I don't even know what to say. How cool was it to beat Emmaus? I mean, this is unbelievable, but just to get just to get here and beat that hurdle to get here, how cool was that? Yeah, they were that was team, awesome. Right? Yeah, like, it felt like we were winning the state finals then, but we knew we had one more game. Like, they beat us last year, and we knew we couldn't let them beat us again because they won twice in a row, so. They had a lot of uh, pressure on you. You guys, uh, I think it was from the time they called timeout with 18 minutes to go in the second half till about two or three minutes into the overtime. It just seemed like it was all on this side of the field. Yeah, it was. Like, I think we were a little bit tired, but we were trying to get some fresh legs in there, and we just didn't give up. We just kept going and played together as a team. What has this ride been like? You guys still up on a cloud here, or has it hit you yet? Uh, I don't think it's going to hit us yet. We we had a rough ride. We didn't do so great in the other districts, but okay. we definitely pulled through in states, and we didn't give up at all. What, uh, what what was the driving force? What has kept you going here? What's, what's been the momentum? Um, definitely everyone like working together as a team. No one's trying to like be the game winner. Everyone's keeping together, and we're keeping our passes together, and everybody's doing a great job. Um, for two LL teams to be standing here today, what does that say about Section 1, LL, etc.? Um, I think it's pretty awesome. Like, we didn't know it was going to happen, but that's the first time it happened in history, and it's pretty awesome that we got to play them. We knew like what they had in store and what we had, so we just knew we had to come out ready to play, and whoever, whoever wanted it the most was going to get it. Uh, what did you learn from the last couple of games with them? Because they got the last two, I guess. Yeah. So what did you take from those games, or did you even talk about it? Was this a new day? Um, it was pretty much a new day. Like We weren't going to watch game tape and worry about what happened before. We knew we had to shut down a couple of other players, like Emily Harding and Emma Rissiner. We couldn't let them get the shots off, and that was the way we were going to do it. Was it a good thing playing a familiar team, uh, maybe at the same time, detrimental, because they knew you as well? Um, it was good and bad. Like sometimes it's good to just start out with not knowing like what's going to happen. But I think it helped us a little bit that we knew like who we had to stop, what we had to do, and we're going to let them get any shots off. Uh, when it gets to OT, is it just go, just go for it? Because it's six on six, and it's just you know talk about what an OT is like, and you know being one one less player on the field and how that works. Um, it's pretty tough in overtime. You just if you're tired, you got to give it all you got. You can't give up for one second. If you're tired, you need to ask for a sub, and you just got to keep going and push through. She subbed a lot. She yeah. subbed between corners there in the, in the OT. Did you guys just have fresher legs in the end, or I don't know? I think that's what it came down to. We just like we had more power in the end, and we had fresh legs. We weren't getting as tired, and everyone was working together. It didn't matter who was in the game. We just wanted to win it. Because it seems like you guys spent a lot of energy on defense today, because they yeah. really had the ball a lot. Yeah. Did you notice that? And exactly. how proud are you of the defense? Just to I'm so proud of the defense. Like they just kept it out and they kept going, and I give them all the credit. Uh, Hemfield, as as an athletic program. You guys won all those state titles last year. You're aware of that. You already had volleyball in a state final. You guys were in a state final and won it. What's this say about your school and your athletes and that you guys go and win these things and play in these games? Um, it's pretty great. Like Not a lot of schools get to experience like what we experienced. Like, volleyball and soccer won last year. We wanted to bring home the gold for field hockey so could see what it feels like and it feels pretty awesome.